Okay, hey collective. So this is gonna be a collective reading. Okay, so we have let your friends help you. We have codependency. Somebody has their friends all up in their relationship or something like that. That's what I'm getting here. Yep, somebody is codependent on a friend or a friend's opinion in regards to a relationship. Yeah, we have religious factors. What messages do you have here? We have this could be the one. So somebody religiously goes to a friend to ask for advice on people that they want to date. Meanwhile, this friend wants this person or something like that. Yeah, we have stay optimistic about your love life. So somebody runs this person away from everybody. Yeah, we have keep an open mind. Look here, we have trust. Yeah, we have worth waiting for. So somebody is interested in a third party, but instead of this person trusting their judgment or trusting a process, this person is going to a friend for advice. And meanwhile, this friend wants this person. That's what I'm getting here. Yep. This could be something that happened to you here in the past. You know, a plot of roses, they fit, but somebody is interested in you romantically. And instead of this person reaching out to you, this person went to a friend. Yeah, what's going on here with this situation? Wow, a fake friend. Somebody went to a fake friend. I'm also getting this friend could have lied about you to this person. Somebody wanted to reach out to you and this person told this friend not to deal with you. Somebody was like gossiping about you or intentionally trying to run somebody away from you. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah, what's going on here with this situation? Wow. What's going on here with this situation? Somebody is up in their head here as well. That's what I'm getting. Or I'm getting like this friend is stressed out because some type of lie that they told about you is backfiring. And now somebody is seeing that this person just did not want this individual reaching out to you or dealing with you. That's what I'm getting here. So this friend is having anxiety or something like that because the truth is coming out. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah, wow, because you are intuitive here. You are intuitive or this person is now trusting their intuition here. That's what I'm getting. But somebody told another person not to reach out to you here. That's what I'm getting. What's going on here? Yep, somebody is now seeing the truth. Somebody is now seeing the truth in regards to a situation here. Somebody is stressed out because they were gossiping about you. So somebody was gossiping about you. Yeah, I'm also getting like somebody wanted to. So you are intuitive here. Somebody was like trying to tell another person not to listen to you or something like that. The truth is coming out that somebody was sleeping with somebody's friend here. That's what I'm getting here. And somebody is up in their head. Somebody could be telling another person not to listen to you because you know about this person sleeping with somebody's friend here or you spoke on something and somebody is upset. That's what I'm getting here. Somebody slept with a friend or something like that here. That's what I'm getting. Somebody's telling another person not to listen to you because the truth came out in regards to this individual sleeping with somebody's friend. But I'm also getting like this person is the friend of somebody that wants to reach out to you. So this could be something that's happening in a friends group. It could be like three individuals involved in a situation. Like somebody was sleeping with somebody behind another person's back. Somebody is stressed out or up in their head. Something is extremely messy here. Somebody does not want you to see. Somebody does not want you to see or somebody does not want you to know the truth here. So there's somebody that's interested in another person more than a friend. They want to be with this person, but I'm also getting this person is sleeping with somebody that's friends with them and somebody that they want to be with here. This is some type of like triangle or love triangle here. That's what I'm getting. And I'm getting like, you're not a part of this friends group here. Somebody does not want another person to date you. You are not a part of this friends group. But there is a friend. This could be like three people here. This could be two males and a female. This could be two females and a male. You know, a plot of roses, they fit. But like 
these individuals are dating each other or these individuals are sleeping with each other behind the scenes. It's a lot of secrets. It's a lot of hidden shit going on that these individuals do not want exposed. That is why somebody is stressed out and having anxiety. Somebody is trying to shut you up because you are intuitive or somebody is trying to tell somebody not to listen to you or something like that. Because you know something here. What's going on here? Yep. Wow. So somebody's trying to block you. Somebody wants you to stop doing something or somebody wants you to shut up or something like that. What's going on here? Yep. What's going on here? This could be somebody from your past or somebody that you grew up with here or something like that. Somebody wants you to stop doing something because you are intuitive here. Somebody does not want you to expose the truth. Yep. What's going on here? Somebody also took you for granted here in the past as well. Somebody is seeing the truth. Somebody is seeing that they took you for granted or somebody is realizing that another person wanted to shut you up because you are intuitive here. Somebody is seeing this. Somebody found out that somebody was sleeping with their friend or sleeping with a friend or this could be some, wow, I'm hearing a one night stand or something like that. Or a hookup. Somebody hooked up with another person here. Wow. And somebody was telling another person not to listen to you because you are crazy or delusional or something like that because you are intuitive here. Somebody told another person not to listen to you. That's what I'm getting here. So for some, you aren't even in a relationship with these people. This could be like friends from your past that's like watching you. So you could be on a platform here or you are extremely intuitive here or you shared something or you shared a post or something like that. You shared something or this could be like a motivational quote and it inspires somebody to trust their intuition and take their power back here. That's what I'm getting because somebody was like doubting themselves in the past and now you have a third party or a friends group are friends of this individual that are mad at you. Somebody is mad at you. Because you share some type of inspirational post or quote. And you took your power back or something like that. That's what I'm getting here. Yep. Somebody feels like you are stubborn here. As well. Because somebody wants you to stop doing something here. Or stop talking or shut up. What's going on here? Somebody tried, Somebody felt like if they blocked money for you, you would shut up or stop doing something here. That's what I'm getting. Somebody was working behind the scenes to sabotage something for you here as well. Somebody was working behind the scenes to block you from being able to work because they wanted you to shut up because you are intuitive here as well. Something is extremely messy and karmic and I'm getting like you have nothing to do with this situation here. But somebody is mad at you because you are intuitive or you know the truth here. That's what I'm getting. Somebody is also upset because you have your own money because you took your power back. Somebody is watching you build a business here. Somebody is upset because you have your own money or you built a business. You're intuitive here. You're skilled here. That's what I'm getting. Like somebody from your past is watching you. Somebody is telling another person like not to listen to you because this person was sleeping with their friend, sleeping with your person's friend, or this person was sleeping with a bunch of people behind this individual's back. Somebody could be in a relationship with another person. This is something in regards to a friend's group here. I'm getting something in regards to three people. Two of these people are in a relationship. One is just a friend in this situation, but one of these people are, is sleeping with this friend behind another person's back that's what i'm getting here and somebody wants you to shut up and stop doing something here because they are karmic as hell that's what i'm getting yep what's going on here you inspire somebody to take their power back you inspire somebody to cut ties with a karmic situation here as well yep and somebody is upset somebody is upset in regards to this so somebody is trying to be inconsiderate to block you from being able to work because they don't want you to expose the truth here. So if you feel like somebody is intentionally trying to sabotage you from being able to create, they are because somebody is upset about something that you said. 
So somebody feels like if they cause some type of disruption to your schedule, it will shut you up and you will not expose the truth. Somebody is mad because you are standing in your power and you took your power back and you're moving forward. Somebody is angry because you inspire people to close out karmic cycles instead of staying in toxic situationships. Somebody is angry at you because you spoke on something here. So somebody's like trying to shut you up. Somebody feels like if they stress you out, have you up in your head, wow, could have been lying on you. Somebody could have been lying on you or somebody could have been like trying to destroy your reputation so nobody would find you credible here as well. And people would think you were crazy as hell or something like that because you are intuitive. Yep, I'm telling you. But instead it backfired and you have a lot of people that want to work with you. So somebody thought you being spiritual would have people thinking that you are crazy. You being intuitive would have people thinking that you are crazy and moving away from you. Somebody could have been trolling something that you are doing here, but it backfired here. And now you have a lot of people that support you. So now somebody is seeing the truth here. Somebody sees the truth. Somebody is taking their power back. Somebody refuses to stay stuck in a karmic relationship. And now you have a third party that's mad at you or angry. Wow, I'm hearing because this friend was the breadwinner. This friend was the breadwinner here. So whoever, it's three people involved in a situation here. One of these individuals is wealthy here. That's what I'm getting. And these two friends did not want this person to move away from them. These two friends were hooking up behind this wealthy man's back or something like that. They did not want this wealthy man to move away from them because somebody was like giving money to a third party. So somebody was like stringing this wealthy man along and like giving money to a third party. This wealthy man would give money to a feminine energy and this feminine energy could have been giving that money to a masculine energy these two were like playing this wealthy man and you said something somebody tried to convince this person that you were crazy as hell they shouldn't listen to you you were lying or something like that meanwhile these two were playing the hell out of a masculine energy Somebody was extremely codependent on their friends in the past or the opinion of their friends here. That's what I'm getting. And this person was staying stuck. But somebody did not want this person listening to you because you are intuitive here. You knew somebody was only dealing with this person because they are abundant. I'm also getting like whoever this friend is or somebody in this friend's group felt like if they convinced this person not to reach out to you, it'll make you look crazy or something like that. Or you will be up in your head. You will stop doing something here or you would not expose the truth if this person didn't reach out to you or something like that or or kept you waiting for some type of communication you would stop doing something and you would not expose the truth but i'm getting like you still expose the truth and you are moving forward with your life that's what i'm getting here yeah what advice do you have here for the collective somebody is now taking their power back from some karmic fake friends here Somebody was also trying to block you from seeing the truth here. Yep. That's too many, but we have Sunday here. Yeah, be vulnerable, but aware if you're always trying to be normal, you will never know how amazing you can be. You were holding back in the past. That's what I'm getting. Ooh, we, yep. I'm getting like you are very intuitive, but you were holding back in the past. Could have been because of some type of gang stalking or trolling. Like somebody wanted you to shut up or stop doing something here. Somebody is so terrified that you are exposing the truth here. Somebody is having a lot of anxiety here as well. In regards to something that they did to betray another person. Yep. A situation is being balanced out here. Yeah, we have July here. We have focused more on what you do want. Somebody is watching another person manifest and move forward. Yeah, we have June here on the bottom of the deck. Somebody also had a baby with somebody's friend or a friend or something like that. Something in regards to a, a, a secret child here. Yep, stop worrying about what others think of you. Practice formless thought. You were up in your head here. Because you were constantly being critiqued and judged. Because somebody wanted to shut you up. Somebody was trying to shut you up here. 
Yeah. Somebody also enlisted the help of other people to shut you up here as well. People that you work with because somebody felt like if they bullied you or gang stalked you, you would stop doing something here and you would not expose the truth. This karmic wanted this wealthy man or something like that. That's what I'm getting here. Yep. Somebody has some type of access to people that you work with and had these people gang stalking you to make you feel like you were not intuitive here. That's what I'm getting. So you would stop doing something or you would shut up. They did not want this wealthy man to wake up from some type of illusion here or something like that. Some type of spell work. So this wealthy man had a friends group that was doing spell work on them because they did not want this person to move away from them. That's what I'm getting here. This is a group of friends here. Yeah, we have ours here. Somebody tried to tell this person you were crazy or something like that. Or that tarot is bad and you are bad because you read tarot or you're into tarot or something like that. You said something and this person is taking their power back here. That's what I'm getting. And I'm getting like you are moving forward here with your life. You let go of the situation. You were here to help this person and you helped this person and now you are moving forward and this person has new love coming in for them. That's what I'm getting here. This person has new love coming in. Somebody they are going to have a lot of chemistry with after this person closed out a karmic cycle but somebody did not believe you or somebody did not trust you in the past because somebody told them not to listen to you because somebody told this person you were crazy or something like that I, that's what i'm getting here because you are into tarot but now this person has new love coming in for them because they closed out some type of karmic cycle that's what i'm getting here but i'm gonna end it there best of luck if this is you dealing with this or somebody around you